<laughs> so, Mighty Nine. After the evening's rest, in the morning you come to, and underneath the evening nip within the uh, confines of the gentleman's private, I would say, organizational base, um, the day is early and yours. What would you like to do? How early are we talking? Uh, you would know, I'd say, you guys probably went to bed relatively early, knowing you'd probably be traveling fairly quickly. So, unless you want to get up any earlier, I would say naturally around like probably seven, oh, eight right, in the morning. Okay. I should make the most of the day, yeah, for travel. Get yeah, horses, go. Yeah. Let's get some horses. I suppose we could ask on the way out if you'll. horses? Yeah, does your father have a, you know, does he have any steeds? Anyone oh. he knows? That's a good question. I should go ask him. Okay. <laughs> He's it's early. He yeah. Go to chambers. Hey. <laughs> Are you naked? It's your daughter. Oh my god. <laughs> it's Chester. Are you awake? Making up for lost time. <laughs> Are you awake? Not you hear the iron handle kind of like. <laughs> and you see a, a half asleep, <clears throat> uh, half elf woman come to the door and. Mm-hmm. Uh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Is the gentleman in here? He's in this. Can you hear a voice go? Uh, okay, just leave. It's go. Leave. Go. Goes and puts the robe over and kind of walks out through the chamber. You can see one of the other uh, guardians of the area kind of like guides her upstairs to leave and there's some. The door's ajar. He's I a, walk in. <laughs> she is not that great. Well, you don't know her. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you? Do you have any horses? <laughs> <laughs> I take it this is for your journey. Um, I don't. Own horses. I keep debts, and there is a livery that. Um, let me write something for you. He throws his robe on, heads over to this little kind of like in table desk he has in the corner, pulls out a sheet of paper, and just writes something down, folds it, uh, goes and takes one of the small candles off the side and gets a wax seal and kind of presses it in, closes it, hands it to you. Um, for this. While he's off doing that. Okay. Ransack the room. No. <laughs> I'm going to get out to my special paints. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to paint a ruby. About this big. Whoa. It's not, it doesn't turn into a real ruby, but it'll be like a glass ruby. Okay. When it's done, it'll look like a ruby. And I'm going to place it right next to his bed. So he sees it when he wakes up in the morning and when he goes to sleep. Okay. Um, make a stealth check for me. Let's, yeah, this would be you just not getting Child of attention. divorce, I'm so into this right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, oh, 22! Okay. Uh, he seems engrossed in his letter and does not notice you quickly, deftly, artistically create this ruby and place it. By the time he finishes the envelope, turns around, you're already right back where you started, and it goes right into your grasp. Thank you. Look for Kiefer's stables. Uh, Kiefer is the uh, proprietor. Just to hand him the letter and tell him how many horses you need. He should take care of it. Thank you so much. This is in the south of the south of the city. Hmm? Is, it, is it the stables in the south of the city? Uh, this would be on the western side. Oh, so we would not be Keith of the Southern Lands. So it's oh, 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 oh. No. Wow. Oh, boy. I'll go like, now. <laughs> no, please <Yeah>. don't. <laughs> Thank you for letting us stay here last night. Yes. Um, happy to provide when in need. Thank you mm-hmm. for, um, you know, being nice to me and being nice to my friends and stuff. And it's really good to see you again. And I hug him and give him a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> it's good to see you as well, Tester. Call mom. <laughs> Whenever you know, just uh, just remember she's you know she's there. She's really pretty and she's really great and talented. Okay, bye. 
<laughs> door closes. <laughs> Two little rubies. <laughs> no, I should have left a little sapphire next to it. Kind of, I want to, I want to lift it and I want to peel it and I want to start like kind of seeing how hard it might be to separate the wax with like a with a knife. I mean, it's going to be hard, but it's probably doable. I hold it up to the light. Can I see through it? Can I read it a little bit? This is Act Two. Make a perception check. <laughs> Oh, it was almost good. Eight. Eight. Mm, unfortunately, it's very, very solid material. It's all right, Bo. We'll find out soon enough. We can just yeah, be right. there when they read it. Uh. We make our way to the Kiefer stables. All right. Heading westward through Zadash, you make your way to the west, asking a few questions, keeping an eye out. You hadn't quite. West. Yes, you hadn't quite uh, spent a lot of time on this far end of the city, Ooh. necessarily, so it, it takes a little bit to kind of find out where the Kiefer Stables are, but upon arriving, they're, uh, they're not small, they're not big, they're just a standard, medium-sized livery. Um, there are two individuals that are in the process of uh, providing feed for the uh, they have mostly horses. There are a couple of, of beasts of burden there as well. Look like they also sell those types of creatures to kind of big ox looking beasts. Um, but you enter the front, and there is one man you see, probably in his uh, late 50s, early 60s or so, extremely like curly poof. Red hair around the back and sides of a bald head. Um, <laughs> Kind of five o'clock shadow all across his chin with a bit of a, a double chin. Um, just in the process of organizing stuff for the day, putting tools in the walls and, and setting things up this early in the morning. As soon as you walk in, he turns around. Oh, hello. It's. Um, we're, uh, we're, sure, we're open. Um, how can I help you? Is this all right? I know it's early. It's you've you've got here in time. What can I do for you? Do you yeah. run this place? I am Kiefer, yes. <laughs> I've got a note for you, Kiefer. Thank you. <laughs> it's not as ominous as it seems. Or maybe it is. Or maybe it is. All right. Mm -hmm. Excuse me a moment. And he walks over to the side of a, of a desk and kind of pulls out a little, you know, knife, and you can see him. He's kind of his movements are a bit erratic and quick, and he kind of opens it. What do you need? Wow. I'm going to make you a run for your camera shoes. Um, we need some. Oh, Kayla, yeah. do you want to take care of this? I, this is your father's. Oh, I mean, no, but we need some horses. How many? Uh, Enough this. for all of us. Yeah. One each. Well, I don't. One take, each? Take your um, pick. Seven horses, yours. I don't need a horse. If, yes. If three. things go well, also, well, well, I'm sure we would rather you know. someone else drive. Horse all right, fine. I can, we're only going to need the horses for this one leg of the journey, I'm sure we can. How do we get them back to you when we're done with yeah. them? No, they are yours to keep. It's what up way with rent you would like. Okay. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, thank you, Kiefer. You're, you're welcome. We, we will have them prepared for you. Just, just tell them which ones you want, and, and we'll have them outfitted with saddles and uh, with some extra say? feed. Uh, it, it's. Uh, I would provide. <laughs> he's, so he's, he's he's basically saying like we'll provide feed and, and everything you require. Wow. We'll load you up. Oh, All right, yeah. whatever you need. Well, we'll meet All right. you outside then. Thank you. Of course. So much. <laughs> Sometimes it is just that easy. Wow. I go up to him. I'll give you fifty gold for that letter. Jesus. Who I'll are take you it with people? Me. It'll be gone. Fifty gold. <laughs> What's You'll cool? never see it again. <laughs> What the horses have cost? Fifty gold. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> What's crystal? Uh, horses are a little pricey. Oh, okay. This guy has his chair. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just look at, you look at the letter. Wow. Um, I'll wait till we leave. Okay. I don't want to embarrass the man. Right. I'm uh, a tactful woman. Horses. <laughs> of about a uh, say, eighteen or so horses that are currently kept here. Um, they're, some of them are healthier, and uh, some are older, some are younger. 
there are a number to pick from that all function and work well. You kind of find the ones that befit your personalities and mm -hmm. have them outfitted. Uh, a week's worth of feed is provided within saddlebags and other elements there, uh, weighing them for a longer journey, uncertain of how long you'll be going. You're kind of given the full, the full package. My horse keeps chasing Ford's horse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. It's a joke that no one will no get. One <laughs> I find a Mustang named Caddy. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 